Hello everybody, Dynamation4 here, and we're here on my computer's desktop to show you how to add and edit mods in your FTB packs. So I'm going to come into the launcher and click this edit mod pack button right here. Now you're gonna, you can see there's enable mods and there are disabled mods. There's also these two tabs. Probably don't want to mess with these because they're base things that other mods use. This one you guess you can mess with. But you can see all the enabled mods and all the disabled mods. You can use this to disable ones you don't want, say you don't want Buildcraft, or you can enable ones you do want, say you do want Buildcraft. Now, that's great, but that leaves you with a certain list of mods that are disabled. If you want to add mods that aren't already on there, you need to get the actual mod file from your computer. One way to do that is to get it from another mod pack. If you want Greg Tech on your F2B Unleashed world, for example, See, FTB Unhinged has Greg Tech, and its Minecraft version 1.5.2 matches up with the Unleashed one. So, if you define where this folder is, you can do that two ways. You can either edit mod pack and open folder. There's your folder location. Or, you can just go into options, and the folder is listed right here. So, you can see the folder it has all the mods in it, like this. And you can see Greg Tech is right here. Now to get that onto your F2B Unleashed one, you're going to want to edit this mod pack and click Add Mod. Now you want to find that location. So, it's mine, Unhinged, Minecraft, Mods, and here's Greg Tech right here. You click Open. I already had it on. <laughs> but it would add it without an error. I've done this like five times. And then you could launch it. But before you do that, I suggest making backup, backups of your world. So to do that, you can just come in here. And just copy this entire folder. And make a copy of it. Just in case something goes wrong, you want to have a backup so you don't lose your worlds. Usually it should be all set though. But it's always just in case. So then you can launch it. And it should run and open. I'm not going to update, because when you update, it restores it to defaults, and we do not have defaults, we have extras. So now we're here on FTB Unleashed, and if we open up the Mods tab, you could find the mod we just added, which would be Greg Tech, somewhere in here. Here it is. And it's on, and everything should be enabled, so if we were to go into a world, we'll actually see everything the way it should be if Greg Tech was on. Not well, it is on. So here we are. And if we wait for everything to load, we should be able to skim through the tabs and eventually find all the great tech stuff. It all has its regular recipes and everything. It's all enabled. All the recipes that it edits are edited. The way, they should, normal, the way they are if you regularly have it. And it's fully enabled. If you're going to add another mod, if it's on a different mod pack, then you can do it just the way you did this one. If you're going to add an external mod that isn't in an FTB mod pack, you just have to make sure that the Minecraft version, which is 1.5, way up here, matches up with the version of the mod you're adding. And if it does, then it should work fine. However, occasionally you might get IDs that overlap each other, and it'll tell you that before you open your world. It'll say, this ID is overwritten or something like that. And to fix that, you have to go into your config file and edit the IDs manually, which I'll show you how to do now. So to get to your config folder to edit IDs, you go into Minecraft stuff, and your folder, oh, my Minecraft stuff folder, you'd find your FTB folder, go into here, to Minecraft, and it's just right here. All these can be opened as text files. Even though they're crazy names, you can all open them normally. And here are your IDs. You can just edit them straight on. Some of them come in folders because there are more of them. Let's see, how do you want to open this type of file? Just open it with a notepad. You can see all the stuff. And you'd edit the things so that you can see it everything. Yeah, you edit the IDs so they don't 
overwrite. And you can have all your items. And that's about it for adding mods. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll make a point to address it. And thanks for watching.